Hello there, I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flowers Start, the online flower arranging classes. I've been to the charity shop and picked up loads of these pretty little dishes. I'm going to do a quick upcycling project and convert them into footed containers to plant some spring bulbs in. I do hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and then you'll always know when I upload a new video. For this project, I'll need some bowls that fit together quite nicely. I've got a blue bowl here. I think it cost me about £1.25 and a little dish here. And I thought if I glued those together, they would make a really lovely footed container. You just need to make sure you know how the two fit together and whether you're going to put the glue on the top of the base or the bottom of your bottom, if that makes sense. So don't forget to heat up your hot glue gun so it's all ready to go. And then stick your base on. This is a really fun project to do in very quick time. I've managed to make three containers. This one using the same pot, but upside down. Blue pot with a little pudding basin at the bottom. And I think my favorite is this one here, the blue with a little decoration on it. Next job is to go out into the garden and plant up my bulbs. Ooh. It's a bit cold out today, but on with the planting. I'm doing it out on my patio table so I don't create a real mess indoors. And I've got a selection of bulbs, some hyacinths and some grape hyacinths and a little potted primrose. In front of me here, I've got some gravel. I'm going to put a bit of the grit into the bottom of each pot so it's some drainage because there aren't any drainage holes. I don't want my bulbs ending up getting waterlogged. So hopefully it's just going to be a matter of decanting the pots into my upcycled breakfast bowls. So a handful of grit. Take the plant out of its little container and get rid of that. Just going to loosen up the soil a little bit so it can change the shape from that square pot to this rounded one. And if needs be, I may need to put bit more soil in there and I can cover up that top layer of soil with some more of the gravel just to make it look a bit prettier and then when I get it indoors I'll give everything a bit of a wash just so I haven't got any compost showing down the sides of the container. Looks pretty good doesn't it? Just needs a bit of a clean up. So grit in the bottom. These are great path since came from the florist shop. Just loosen up the soil a little bit. Oops, one's escaped. They need a bit of a water, these are a little, tiny bit dry. And here you can either leave the soil bare or put some moss on the top or some more of the gravel. I think what I might do here is plant them really close together. Get the second pot, just so it looks really, really luxurious, abundant. Catch that soil and gently pull the bulbs apart. Yes, that's looking much better, looks much fuller. come back indoors for a bit of a warm-up. Boy, it's a bit chilly outside. But I'm really pleased with the way my bulbs have worked out. Let me show them to you. So for we've got my primrose planted up with a little top dressing of the gravel. So it's gravel at the base, then the compost, and then the gravel on the top. And I haven't watered those in because they were quite well watered anyway. And then this pretty little container with the, the pinky lilac -y base, I've got my grape hyacinths, so they're a little blue flower, and I used one and a half pots in there, so probably there were seven bulbs in a pot, so probably there's about 12 bulbs in here. And then I did add more gravel on the top as well, just to finish it off. So I've watered that in, 
and I just need to decide where to put them at home. So they will grow quite quickly indoors because it is warmer than being outside and they will get quite leggy. So it may be a question of moving them from room to room, having them a warm room, a cooler room, and perhaps even putting them outside. And as long as the temperature doesn't block, drop below zero, my plant pot should be okay. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you another time.